Picture yourself cruising across the stunning Detroit River, taking in the breathtaking views of Windsor skyline, while feeling the rush of excitement from crossing the newest and most advanced bridge in North America. Well, get ready, because this dream is coming to a reality sooner than you expected. Introducing the $4.4 billion Gordie Howe Bridge, the game-changing infrastructure project that will connect Windsor, Ontario and Detroit, Michigan. With six lanes of traffic and two pedestrian slash bike lanes, this bridge is more than just a transportation solution. It's a symbol of cooperation between the United States and Canada and a milestone in engineering and architecture. But why is this bridge such a big deal? For starters, it will provide a direct and efficient route for trade between the two countries and you'll find out a lot more as you keep watching. In this video, we will explore the details of the Gordie Howe Bridge the reason why the idea was conceived, the impacts that will come from the bridge, how it will benefit Americans and Canadians, and finally, when the bridge will start operation. Is this something you would want to miss? I guess no. Before we dive in, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel if you are coming across it for the first time, and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Without further delay, let's get started. The Gordie Howe Bridge on the 14th of May, 2015, the Prime Minister of Canada, along with the Governor of Michigan, announced that the publicly owned bridge between Windsor, Ontario and Detroit, Michigan will be named Gordie Howe. The planning of this bridge is reported to have started around 2000, but finally, it is set to become operational in 2024. Initially called the Detroit River International Crossing, the Gordie Howe Bridge and the Customs Plazas that will stretch for blocks on end are going to be one pricey affair. We're talking about a whopping $4.4 billion, or if you're feeling extra Canadian, $5.7 billion in maple syrup money. And that's not even counting the cost of maintaining and operating this bridge for the next 30 years. Just the construction part of the whole bridge is estimated to set us back a cool $2.9 billion or even $3.8 billion. To get this thing up and running, about 2,500 skilled workers will be needed who will be putting in some serious sweat equity. This beauty will be owned by both the Canadian government and the state of Michigan and will be situated two miles south of the Ambassador Bridge. But hold your horses, because there's more to this bridge than just its magnificent architecture. Did you know that Canada is the largest market for U.S. exports? And Detroit and Windsor are the busiest trade crossing points along the U.S.-Canada border? That's right, more than a quarter of all goods exchanged between these two countries cross the Detroit River to reach their final destination. And daily travel across this iconic river making it the busiest link in the North American auto industry. But wait, there's even more to this fascinating story. The new bridge is named after none other than the Canadian hockey legend Gordie Howe, who played for the Detroit Red Wings. And if that's not cool enough, the Canadian government plans to recoup the cost of this beauty through tolls. The Gordie Howe Bridge is not just a pretty face, it's also a workhorse. It will connect the bustling cities of Detroit and Windsor by linking Interstate 75 and Interstate 96 in Michigan with the new extension of Highway 401 in Ontario. Now, let's rewind the clock a bit. The Gordie Howe Bridge didn't just magically appear out of thin air. Oh no! The effort to build this icon began decades ago, and it's been no small feat. The state of Michigan bought out dozens of homes and businesses in Detroit's Delray neighborhood to make way for the project. Design The chief bridge architect of AECOM, Eric Behrens, designed a Cable State Bridge for the Gordie Howe International Bridge Project. Cable State Bridges are all about the towers, and Gordie Howe Bridge is no exception. Its sleek and modern design features cables that fan out like a peacock's feathers, supporting the bridge deck with style and grace. Interestingly, when it is completed, it will be the longest cable state bridge in North America. The bridge will be 853 meters, which is about 2,799 feet, making it the longest of its kind in North America. The bridge is intended to accommodate the expected increase in traffic flow between Canada and the United States, from 18,500 vehicles per day in 2016 to an estimated 26,500 by 2025. To estimate the cost associated with this bridge, Transport Canada retained engineering firms Morrison Hirschfield, Davis Langdon, and Delcan to provide estimates for right-of-way and utility relocation, design and construction, and operation and maintenance on the Canadian side of the crossing. The bridge will connect to the Right Honourable Herb Gray Parkway, which is an extension of Highway 401 on its east side. The parkway has six through lanes that follows Talbot Road on Huron Church Road from a new interchange at the former end of Highway 401 to the EC Row Expressway. It then runs concurrently westward for two kilometers before turning northwest and following a new alignment to the border. 
Construction of the parkway, which includes a noise barrier and two new bridges south of the Highway 3-401 junction, began in 2010 and was completed in 2015. But there is a little problem. It looks like David versus the Goliath story is unfolding right before our eyes. In one corner, we've got the publicly owned Gordie Howe Bridge, standing tall and proud as a symbol of cross-border cooperation and progress. And in the other corner, we've got the formidable and wealthy Morin family, owners of the nearby Ambassador Bridge, and notorious opponents of the Howe Bridge project. But let's be real here, this isn't just a friendly competition. The Morins have been throwing everything at the Howe Bridge, with a whopping 25 legal challenges aimed at stopping its construction. That's right, 25! And yet, despite their best efforts, they've come up empty-handed every single time. Now, some might call the Morins' persistence admirable. But let's not forget that they're not exactly doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. They've got trucking and logistics firms to protect, after all. The Ambassador Bridge, which has been standing for almost 90 years, poses a safety risk as evidenced by a recent incident where falling concrete damaged a parked car. In addition, the bridge lacks up-to-date spill protection measures, resulting in the need for hazardous material trucks to use a ferry to cross the Detroit River. So who will come out on top in this epic showdown? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the Gordie Howe Bridge isn't backing down anytime soon. What benefits will arise from this bridge? You might want to know. The Gordie Howe International Bridge as a crucial infrastructure project will provide a range of benefits to both Canada and the United States. One of the primary benefits of the bridge is its potential to reduce wait times at border crossings. Currently, there are long wait times at the existing border crossings, which can cause significant delays for individuals and businesses who rely on cross-border trade. By providing an additional crossing point, the Gordie Howe Bridge will help to alleviate some of these delays and improve the flow of goods and people between the two countries. Another benefit of the Gordie Howe Bridge is its potential to boost economic growth. The new bridge will create jobs during its construction and operation, and it will also facilitate cross-border trade by providing an additional route for trucks and other vehicles to transport goods. This increased access to markets on both sides of the border is expected to stimulate economic activity and create new opportunities for businesses in a variety of sectors. In addition to improving economic growth and reducing wait times, the Gordie Howe Bridge will also improve safety. The current border crossings are located in urban areas, which means that truck traffic often passes through residential neighborhoods, creating noise pollution and safety hazards. The new bridge will divert truck traffic away from these areas, making the surrounding communities safer and more livable. Ultimately, the Gordie Howe Bridge will enhance sustainability by offering environmentally friendly transportation options. The new bridge will include dedicated bike lanes and pedestrian pathways, encouraging people to choose more sustainable modes of transportation. Additionally, the bridge will feature advanced environmental systems, including a state-of-the-art stormwater management system to minimize its impact on the environment. How eager are you about the coming of this bridge? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this change if you haven't. Thanks for watching.